Himalayan salt doesn't actually come from the Himalayas. It's a crazy business. So it starts here in Pakistan at the Kyoto salt mine. And basically 600 million years ago, there were these sea beds that dried up and crystallized out all this pink salt. It was first discovered when Alexander the Great was riding through and his horse process any of it. So they ship it over to India very cheaply. And then India marks most Pakistani salt miners don't speak English and can't meet Europe's confusing import. Himalayan salt doesn't actually come from the Himalayas. This dude you've never heard of, Guatemala Donnie, no, just passed no, no. Bezos to become the second richest person in the world. Who the? So in 1962, Nadani is born in Gujarat, grows up in a family of eight, he drops out of college, and he goes into business with this dude, Mukesh Ambani. The two of them are like India's Andrew Carnegie and Cornelius Vanderbilt. They get to work building shit, plastic factories and stuff. Then they run into a problem. See, from India's independence in 1947 to 1990, India was under a regime known as the License Raj. Basically, Singing fish, it made 100 million dollars in one year. So it's 1998, and this dude, Joe Pelletieri, gets a job at this toy company called Jenny. They got this new sunflower toy named Sunny, but nobody's buying. So Joe's like, Yo, Boys, let's make that flower a quartet. It's a huge hit, but Joe's a numbers guy, not a creative, so he's struggling to come up with his next idea. And your wife is on a road trip together, they get shot at a bass pro shop. And Joe's wife is like, yo, guy, make that fishy thing sad. And boom, Joe rushes back to Jemmy to pitch Big Mouth Billy. The only problem, the execs hate it. It doesn't move right. So Joe hits up his Chinese engineers and is like, yo, oh, it's Mitch that head. Next thing you know, Big Mouth Billy is flailing and belting out her tune every time somebody walks by. And people go nuts. Even celebs like George Bush, The Sopranos, and Queen Elizabeth rush to get one. You know this robotic singing fish? It made 100. We bought a coffee went from a shed to being worth 700 million dollars, and now they sell five dollar coffees. So this guy James Freeman was a structural musician in Oakland, California, and it seemed that he wanted to be a professional clarinetist. But eight years ago, he wasn't really progressing with his music. He was miserable, so he gets an idea. He'll try a new hobby, and he gets way into roasting coffee beans in his oven. And then he's like, huh? I wonder if other people care about fresh coffee beans like I do. See, James had a problem. There was nowhere in San Francisco you could buy a cup of coffee. He spends two years selling at farmers markets with no results. Until one day, out of nowhere, there's a massive line at his stand. There was a fancy food show in town, and James was at the heart of it. Now, Blue Bottle has a hundred stores worldwide. Blue Bottle coffee went from a shed. You see, back in the day, Yo, these epic Pixar movies were born out of one lunch with four people. So, in the summer of 1994, everything at the time was about this new film, Toy Story, from an animation studio nobody had heard of, Pixar. Now, the execs of Pixar are going for their usual lunch at the Hidden City Cafe, and they're talking about their big problem. See, in 94, computers weren't fast enough to handle the realistic animation that Pixar wanted to do. A couple seconds of animation would take dozens of hours to render, and this kept delaying the release of Toy Story. Pixar is running out of money, and if Toy Story flops, they're done. And they're all like, a problem. See, there's no way for him to listen to his favorite operas on the 13-hour flights. He's just staring at the in-flight menu. So he goes to his most trusted engineer, Yasuo Kuroki, and he's like, make me up a listening device. Yasuo's team gets to work, and they go, how would anybody know what to record? Concerts? Secret spy dictations? This single focus to remove record is what made the Walkman so powerful. They decided to launch it to the public in 1979. 90s kids, remember these? Or... The McDonald's McRib was birthed from a top secret project with the U.S. Army. Let me take you back to... Start using them for bribes, prostitution, and gambling. So over the years, the $2 bill. 